फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इन दिस कनेक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट द अटेंशन ऑफ ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स टू ए फ्यू एलिमेंट्स इन द सिचुएशन दैट इज द कंडीशंस विच प्रिवेल्ड इन द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड दे हैव टू एन एक्सटेंट इन्फ्लुएंस्ड द रेट ऑफ प्रोग्रेस एंड ऑल्सो हैव बीन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द डिफिकल्टीज और डिसअपॉइंटमेंट्स वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज एंड दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट वट वॉज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट वट वॉज द स्टेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट रीच्ड इंडियाज पर कैपिटा नेशनल इनकम व्यूड इन द इंटरनेशनल कॉन्टेक्सट वॉज एमंग द लोवेस्ट देयर वॉज यट एनदर सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्ट द नेशनल इनकम वॉज नॉट ओनली एट ए वेरी लो लेवल बट ऑल्सो देयर वॉज नो एविडेंस दैट दिस कंट्री वॉज कैचिंग अप with the increase in population that is the trend in regard to per capita national income was downwards it did not amount to stagnation but certainly there was deterioration and therefore our planning effort had to face this downward pull which had to be overcome it took a number of years the period of first plan and a part of the second plan to achieve that that is a very big result we have achieved because then a certain dynamism is introduced in the economy which pushed it forward it will be recognized that among our handicaps and there were many handicaps was our lack of experience initially in tackling big tasks we had to step up the rate of investment to the maximum extent possible the administrative machinery was not geared to take up development work on a large scale we had not enough trained personnel there were shortages experienced in several fields the difficulties were accentuated by the fact that the step up in the rate of investment was very rapid now we can say with some confidence that we have made big strides in preparing ourselves for a still bigger advance in the third five year plan it is plain that india is an underdeveloped country and what we need is more investments and therefore more savings a large majority of the people are not in a position to make any savings that is a fact which has to be faced squarely there is yet another factor which has a very important bearing on the pace of our progress it is our democratic structure i am convinced that democratic forces will become an ally of development sir i was referring to the situation through which we have passed it is a fact that our people who are a free people are slowly awakening to the new developments in the country there is a new consciousness about their needs and their rights therefore they ask for more and the claims pile up that is one side on the other side we have not got the methods to extract more and more out of their low current incomes for the purpose of investment therefore that handicap does remain but as i have indicated i am sure that this handicap will diminish progressively and in due course it will become a much greater positive force than it is today when all sections of the population participate and every individual becomes a willing partner in this process of development certainly the results are going to be extraordinarily good that is another factor sir now in regard to our planning effort we are asked as to why certain targets have not been realized and what has happened to the price level 
इट इज़ टू बी रिमेंबर्ड दैट वी आर ऑपरेटिंग इन अ मिक्सड इकोनमी इन विच द स्कोप एंड एरिया ऑफ स्टेट कंट्रोल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस ओवर प्रोडक्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्टिविटीज़ आर लिमिटेड टू द मिनिमम नेसेसरी आई बिलीव वी हैव बीन एबल टू रिकनसाइल दीज फैक्टर्स टू अ कंसिडरेबल एक्सटेंट बट वी आर स्टिल कन्फ्रंटेड विद द प्रॉब्लम्स विच एराइज देयर फ्रोम एनदर फैक्टर कंसर्नस द फेडरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आवर स्टेट वी आर स्पोस्ड टू फॉर्मुलेट एंड एग्जीक्यूट द प्लान एट वेरियस लेवल्स इंक्लूडिंग द सेंटर स्टेट्स एंड लोकल बॉडीज अगेन आई थिंक इट इज़ नॉट अ डिसएडवाटेज बट सर्टेनली इन द कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ द वेरियस processes of planning and development certain difficulties do arise one fact which i would like to bring to the notice of honorable members which has a very important bearing on the course of progress is that we have set before ourselves several objectives and these are competing objectives at least for the time being our main objective is that the tempo of development should increase to ensure better standards of living to the people this is one objective another objective which we have placed before ourselves is that we should be able to maintain a certain rate of growth of the economy to achieve this we should rely on ourselves as far as possible and not be dependent on others that is one phase of economic independence we have got that objective before us then there is the third objective which we have set before ourselves and that is a very important one for any community stop